The Constitution-class starship, the USS Enterprise, was the first ship to make official first contact with the Telosians on Talos IV. This combined with her numerous other discoveries and achievements made her the Federation flagship. By this point, Federation starships were considered Starfleet's premier vessels as they were usually on front lines patrolling Federation space and exploring uncharted areas just within the Federation's borders. Around the latter half of 2254, all Constitution class vessels underwent a major refit program. At this point, the aging ships had been seen in the same configuration for nearly a decade. When refitting began, the whole ship was nearly torn down and extensively refit. The impulse and warp engines of each ship were removed and replaced with new angled pylons for the heavier warp nacelles. Most of the hull plating that was on the saucer prior to the refrit was not replaced. On the USS Enterprise, it was common for crew members to sign the oldest piece of the Enterprise's hull when playing Enterprise Bingo. Interior of all Constitution class starships was also gutted and rebuilt from the ground up with the bridge being moved to the former Deck 2. A large observation lounge and recreation facility with a massive transparent aluminum window was built in front of the new bridge on Deck 3, which extended to Deck 2 to allow the new bridge view screen slash window to see out of it. The new interior reflected more comfort for Starfleet personnel or personal and included the addition and included the addition the iconic red orange accents of the class in the mid 2250s to late 2260s the external modifications of the ship on the secondary hull were very significant and the originally barrel shaped secondary hull was still roughly the same shape at first glance but with less curves and a new payload bay below the shuttle bay. A new small cargo bay was added where the old impulse engines used to be and probes could be launched out of it. After the refit, Constitution class starships continued their missions, most like Enterprise, beginning her second five-year mission under Captain Pike. When the Federation Klingon War started, Constitution class ships were kept off the front lines as a unit of last resort. At the time, the USS Defiant was assigned to patrol Sector 006, while the USS Enterprise was ordered to continue its then five-year mission under Captain Christopher Pike. This order took a toll on their crews. Also, during this time, the ships were not Starfleet's priority to keep refitted, as there were more advanced warships to keep the Klingon to keep the Klingons from taking Federation space, such as the Crossfield class and its spore drive. During this time, with the ships out away on their five-year missions, it was rare to see a Constitution-class ship at all. Aboard the Enterprise, at least, new, colorful Starfleet uniforms were adopted before some other ships. They were seen in use shortly after the Federation Klingon War. Constitution-class starships, along with their Sombra-class counterparts, had a small refit project in 2259, updating the interiors of the ships. The main AI and transporters of each ship were also upgraded. Externally, the ships remained mostly the same. However, the bridge observation deck in front of the bridge was removed due to it possibly being deemed a possible target and hazard. The external window was made much smaller to the size of the new bridge view screen window and reinforced with regular armor panels. Some of the saucer sections on the ships was gutted with their interior again being replaced with new windows mostly being moved to the top of the ship. The new crew lounge observation deck replacing the old one in front of the bridge was moved to the front section of the saucer slash primary hull, reinforced with regular armor and much less exposed, unlike the previous one. Uniforms on the Constitution class starships were again updated in 2259. After undergoing the refit and finishing her second five-year mission under Pike, the Enterprise underwent brief maintenance and continued on her mission, violating General Order 1 in the process, causing Starfleet to rename it the Prime Directive. 
all con <laughs> all Constitution class starships had their third major refit program around 2265. Each ship's secondary hull was extensively torn down, and the primary hull's insides were gutted. The main structure of each ship and exterior was radically changed, somewhat back to their original design, with the secondary hull becoming barrel-like again. The new warp nacelles were again mounted on straight pylons instead of angled ones. The appearance of a ship was very similar at first glance when the class was first launched. The interior of each ship was rebuilt with new rooms and hallways, with the main bridges of the ships being moved from deck 2 to a new bridge module on top of the ship. The captain's ready room, however, remained on deck 2. The main cargo bay on the secondary hull was moved from the lower back of the secondary hull to the middle, with doors that opened over the bottom of the ship, allowing for gravity drops of probes and other cargo needed to be ejected. 